All right. Thanks, everybody, for joining us on Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to everyone. Happy Mother's Day. Um, except, well, mothers. <laughs> um, today, for Mother's Day, we're going to be cooking uh, pasta carbonara. Uh, in front of me, I have garlic, onion, bacon, mushrooms, spinach, egg, parmesan, and... So, let's start it off. Um, difference between dry pasta and uh, fresh pasta is it doesn't take nearly as long to cook. But we're gonna first of all get our water going. Uh, if you're making two like I am, uh, you're gonna need about three and a half to four cups of water going off. Uh, also make sure that here. I'll this for you. Pasta water, salt, lots of salt. Keep going, more salt. There we go. All right, so that's on the back burner. Warm it up for us. And while that's doing that, let's get the stuff we need to get ready for this thing. So, garlic. Start off with two cloves of garlic. We are going to just cut off the top, cut off the bottom, cut off the top, cut off the bottom. That is a no good piece of garlic. Everywhere, the confetti of the world. Okay, and then we have our two cloves of garlic. We're gonna crush them off, line them up so they're all nice in one line. And uh, as a very strange French chef told me once, just uh, turn on the chainsaw. <laughs> All up. The other way. And I don't usually do this like this, but I figured uh, you guys will find this is the easiest way to do it. So just keep bunching them up. six slices of bacon. I like bacon. We're just going to slice that up. How wide is the bacon? In this, uh, How wide are you cutting the bacon? Uh, the same as the onions, but the fingers. And then we're going to... Uh, ooh, I got my pan all nice and hot. Into the pan. 
gonna have it on low. So we don't need any um, oil because the bacon fat is going to render out and be our lubricant. Um, since we're looking at the stove right now, you'll notice that I also have a very big pan. I'm cooking it all in the smaller pan, um, because these are my favorite pans. Uh, but it's going to be too much to actually toss it all um, once the pasta and everything else is in there. So um, just have a backup pan that's slightly bit bigger. If you don't have a bigger pan, a large bowl will, will help you. Just need to toss everything. So while that's going. We are going to come back to our cutting board. And move on to our mushrooms. Um, I have shiitakes. I like shiitakes. Uh, they're not double dual shiitakes, but they're pretty good anyways. Um, Clean a mushroom, you just take the stem off. You don't actually have to take the stem off when you're cleaning a mushroom. They are edible, but with they're slightly chewier than the rest of the mushrooms, so just for the point of consistency. Like close to the camera. Um, oh yeah, negative health. Yeah. Um, I'm just here to fill in the blanks for those of us that aren't professionals. Ah, gotcha. So de stem here. Your mushroom. Save your stems of your mushroom because um, you can make delicious stock. I make stock out of mushrooms, stems all the time. There we go. And then uh, spinach. Because I said it's sort of green, so you have something healthy. Uh, just do a rough chop if you're doing spinach. Just to get the uh, make it easier for it to break down a little bit, but we're going to add it to the very end. We're not even going to cook it really. We're going to let the heat um, from the pasta and the rest of the time for the cooking. Um, do that. So, uh, Bacon's starting to get a little bit warm, and you can already probably see, hopefully on your end, you can't see it on mine, that uh, the pan's already nice and lubricated. And we're still just going at slow. My water's actually come to boil. Um, salty ocean water. So I just turned it down a little bit. And then we have our huevos. Uh, I have two. You should have two as well. Guys, if you uh, know how to break an egg yolk, I mean, separate an egg yolk now, because uh, we've been doing it for a while. Oh, speaking of egg yolk, actually, um, your, your egg yolk should still be, your cured egg yolk should still be in the freezer uh, for as long as possible until the very, very end. So, keep that in there. And then separate your egg yolk put them both in one bowl save your whites for a proper whiskey sour later because you will have earned it okay um, that is all of the day of the mise en place that we need to do so I'm going to put this all in order for me And then we're going to go back to our... Back to the stove? Yep. The rest of it's all right here. Um, and this is the longest part of the entire process. Uh, you're on low. And you are on low because you want the bacon fat to render. And... Um, 
you can't speed that process up. So we are just going to let the onions caramelize in baking fat. Uh, the natural sugars will start to come out and um, let the bacon render, let the garlic do its thing. This is a very good time to take a sip or gulp of your red wine or, or beer um, and just watch this thing cook. It's a very uh, intensive part of the cooking process. Beer is key. Mm. How are you guys doing? You got everything with me doing everything right? Hopefully. Some of you with small children are keeping up. We want to say a quick hello to our nieces, McKenna and Regan, who I believe are joining us on this. So hi girls. If anybody has any questions, we have a couple minutes now, so feel free to type them in the bottom and Chef can try to answer it as we're waiting for bacon to render. I don't know what else to say. I'm just sitting here waiting for bacon to render. What should we be looking for as the stuff starting to break down? Um, the bacon will actually start to become golden brown and crispy. I do want to kind of keep it as a single surface, I suppose, as much as possible. Uh, by the way, if, if uh, any of you have actually worked with me or, or cooked with me before, um, you will know that Holy Trinity is onion, celery, and pepper, and mirepoix is onion, carrot, and celery. Uh, well, my Holy Trinity is mushrooms, onion, and bacon. Um, so, quick recap of what we've done since we moved to the stove, because it looks like somebody may have lost the feed. So what's all in our pan, and what are we cooking? Uh, we have garlic, onion, and bacon in the pan. Cooking at low, uh, rendering out. And we're just cooking the bacon until it turns golden brown. Yeah, until it starts to crisp. Uh, and also we have our, uh, our water in the back. That if yours is boiling, oh, shh. I have successfully not sworn twice now. <laughs> Did everybody enjoy uh, making pasta? Um, incidentally, typically you make pasta with what's called double O flour, or semolina. Uh, it just has a uh, higher gluten count, I guess you could say. It's just more gluey and it binds together better. Um, but <clears throat> I, I've always made pasta with uh, just regular AP flour. But if, now that you know how to make pasta, you can try out new flowers. Also, uh, this, as most things that I've shown you, um, or I've shown you in the last four weeks, this is five or four? Uh, this will be the fourth. Okay. Um, okay. These are all very basic recipes that you can build upon, depending on whatever you like. So, for instance, it would not be that difficult to make your uh, pasta into an onion pasta by just chopping up some onions and working it in the dough. Uh, garlic pasta by working it into the dough, uh, just folding it in. Anything that you would like to put in there. Um, you can be really wild and crazy and save this bacon fat like I am, and uh, maybe next time you do it, put some bacon fat, like a teaspoon of bacon fat with the eggs when you make pasta that have bacon pasta. Why not? Um, Go crazy, folks. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> just watching this render. Also, traditionally, pasta carbonara is usually made with pancetta or guanciale, which is pork cheek. So if you want to use those instead, you're welcome to. But all of this is about making do so you don't have to go to a specialty store. So um, we're using bacon instead. Bacon is also delicious. So feel free to riff on the ingredients as well.
And if you're going to use bacon uh, once this is all over, um, the best bacon to, to use is actually bacon slab and turn it into what we call bacon lardone so that the outside is crispy um, and then the inside is like really tender. I was actually thinking about doing a, uh, a curing and bacon slab um, lesson this week, but uh, it wasn't easy for me to get it. So I figured. Sorry, we're back. <laughs> when you're cooking bacon, by the way, too. You, uh, you're always told to drain off the bacon fat. We're not going to do that, not just yet, because it's imparting all the flavor. Also, you may have noticed, I have not seasoned this at all, um, because the process of curing bacon is by putting it in salt, just like we did with the, the egg yolk. So um, I typically, when I cook with bacon, season it once everything's done, otherwise you might have especially salty dishes, which I love, but uh, not everybody does. Still going. Ah, it's starting to come, come through a little bit. It's good. So one, now that we have a little bit of golden brown in there. You see the onions starting to caramelize a little bit. We can actually bump the heat up a little tiny bit to about medium low. typically talk that much anyways, but uh, I've never felt awkward about not talking until right about now. But uh, I'm just going to keep on not talking and watching this bacon render. You guys are. Pause. Sorry, we pause. We're back. Sorry, world. What's going on? I now. Phone's being good. Uh, why why are we curing the egg yolk? Where does that come into the process? Oh, that's a secret until the very end. Uh, but we'll give you a hint. Um, typically, with pasta, uh, you finish it with uh, melvin salt, finishing salt, and pepper. And when we cure an egg yolk, we won't have to do the melvin salt part. So we're being very meta. Uh, we have egg. I guess I chose egg as like our universal ingredient this week because eggs in the pasta. Um, egg is in carbonara, and then we cured some egg yolk. So we're we're doing it three or four different ways. Your egg yolk should still be in the freezer, by the way. Chef hands. Like, don't don't do that. Okay. Bacon starting to look like bacon, and the onions are starting to look like caramelized onions, and the garlic it is looking like almost confit garlic. It's another part of the reason you like. Imbuing every ingredient with the bacon fat. And who doesn't like bacon fat? Vegetarians and vegans. Fair enough. Yes. So, um, anyone who keeps kosher. Yes. So, quite a few people. Ah, 
So I'm actually going to drain out a little bit of bacon fat. You guys feel free to do that as well. Uh, and the reason we're doing this is because once it gets to a point of like critical mass, um, it's really hard to imbue any more like bacon flavor. And it will help finish that little bit off. We're very oh, yeah. We're back. And we're gonna keep that bacon fat. Pasta that is dry takes about seven to eight minutes. Uh, fresh pasta um, is only going to take uh, 90 seconds to three minutes, depending on how thick yours is. And that's for al dente, like a little bit of chew, right? Yes. Or the proper way to eat pasta. Hey, man, to each his <laughs> own. letting the bacon and eggs, I mean the bacon mushroom. I never added mushroom. Damn it. Cool. All right. That's fine. If you guys didn't add, add the mushrooms, it's also fine. We're going to make this work. Okay, pasta is actually... Um, floating right now. So I'm good. Your pasta's floating. You're good. Uh, take that bacon fat. I love it when little things like this go wrong. Uh, bacon fat, put it in that same pan. I just transferred my bacon onions into a different pan. We have this up on high. Pasta's floating. It's good. Collar and dare it up. Drain it out. Reserve a tiny bit of water. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Mushrooms go really fast. You want to, um, we, we call this on the fly or in the weeds, but uh, <laughs> not technically in, in the weeds. weeds. But uh, if you put the caps upside down, you can cook mushrooms, especially shiitake, um, really quickly. If you guys are using um, cremini's or some sort of other mushroom, just a flat surface, sear it really hard, salt it up.
them over, give them a little sear. Side. Side. Take it off the heat, mix it all together. So basically what this is doing is it's making a little on the fly multiplication of bacon fat and eggs. Oh my God, it's gonna be so happy with that. Mix it all together. And you should see a little bit a bit more yellow. That's the sauce. That is the key ingredient for Cabernet is your egg yolk. The pan is off and we're going to place. Should I grab the frozen? Uh, not yet. Should I move the camera? Yes. Okay. We're going to move the camera back to plating. Get our drinks out of the way. Never. Set. There we go. Okay. So, we have this technique where we spin the pasta. And basically, uh, that just gives it one, like, ah, what's the best way to describe this? It, it makes it easier to stand up on edge, basically. So. Mm. have it with your tongs and you're putting it in your bowl or whatever you're putting it in. Spin pasta. And just grab the pasta. That's all you're going for. Okay. Grab your all your veg. Weed cooked is a different episode.
new egg. Why don't we want to use the broken egg yolk? I mean, you can use it. You can throw it right in the pasta if you want, but you'll see why when I do this. I'm gonna take this egg yolk, I'm gonna put it right there. And then your cured egg. With. A grater. Grater. Once you whip it in, uh, the heat from the rest of the dish will continue to cook it and um, like temper it and make it safe to eat. And you don't get a broken sauce. So uh, that's how I always make. I'm gonna shove this in my mouth. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, um, that's how I always <laughs> make this. So. Thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, hope everybody had a good Mother's Day and um, enjoys this delicious dish. Yes, and if you guys have any ideas for future classes where you would like to see Chef Eric cooking something delicious or an ingredient you are curious about, please make sure to sort of shoot us a note or a comment on Instagram or on the stories um, so that we can keep making these because it's fun. And I get to eat lots of pasta, which I love, so. <laughs> so much pasta. All right, guys. All right. Cheers, happy Mother's Day. Oh, sorry. Cheers. Cheers.